NBA players who made stupid purchases. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe to enter this month's shout out giveaway. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to NBA Hub. So many athletes have it all. Most of us will spend a lifetime trying to scrape together a tiny fraction of what they've got in their early 20s. And the sad part is, most of us won't even get close. Some athletes do a swell job of managing their vast wealth and professional responsibilities, while others fail miserably at the same task. The one thing they have in common is the money burning a hole in the pocket of their designer duds. Here are some of the most stupid purchases by NBA players. Marquise Daniels, jewel headpiece. As a lifelong bench player who's making $854,000 this season, Marquise Daniels has a lot of nerve commissioner 3D pendant of his likeness. If this horrendous piece of bedazzled egotism costs $5, then Milwaukee Bucks fourth man off the bench is overpaid. The price of the jewel is still unknown, but it's estimated to be worth in millions. Danny Granger, personal Batcave. Who doesn't love Batman? Apart from having the best villains, sorry Spider-Man. He's a dark, deep, and interesting character. Danny Granger decided to show his devotion to the Dark Knight in a very peculiar way by building his own bat cave he made his intentions known as early as 2008 stating that if he ever bought his own home he would build a bat cave in it it's hard to say if he kept his word as the updates regarding his special room stopped around 2012 back then he was talking to reporters about meeting with contractors and designers the cave was supposed to have a moat and be based in his house in albuquerque its completion is secret that will never be known but just the fact he consulted on going through with it is ridiculous shaquille o'neal Customized Superman luxury items. Legendary big man Shaquille O'Neal has a net worth upwards of a quarter of a billion dollars, so it's not really insane to throw down some green to customize luxury items. Shaq is a well known Superman enthusiast whose enthusiasm borders on obsession, which is kind of strange for a 40 year old man. It's hard to pin down exactly how much Shaq's Superman customization has set him back. The bed alone is rumored to have cost as much as $15,000 and the tricked out SUV around $45,000. The real insanity is that all these toys have given him the impression that he is actually Superman. Despite setting into retirement and working as a prominent analyst, Shaq has been keeping his feud with Lakers big man Dwight Howard over which one of them is the real Superman. Even though it's quite clear that neither of them is in fact Superman. Jerome Williams, a personalized mascot. You can ask anyone you want about the original junkyard dog, sorry to Mark Howell, and they'll probably say he's a great guy. Jerome Williams was beloved by the fans in Detroit, Toronto, Chicago, and New York for his hustle and hard play. While in Detroit, he had his own cheering section, website, and his own personalized mascot, which looked like a, you guessed it, junkyard dog. The great thing about it was that it made appearances in schools and hospitals to reach out to young children and teens. The bad thing about it was that it was a mascot of a junkyard dog, which someone spent actual money on. His intentions were good, so this is more superfluous than actually dumb. Deshaun Stevenson, a personal ATM. Stevenson is most known for his beef with LeBron James. LeBron totally owned Stevenson's Wizards during the Eastern Conference playoffs, but his Mavericks managed to steal the win from the Heat in the 2011 Finals. Stevenson played a minor role in stopping James, yet he celebrated as if he single-handedly contained one of the best players in league history. The funniest thing about his success was that Stevenson wasn't even on the Mavericks a year later. Instead, he was signed by the Nets. As a member of that team, Stevenson proudly posed in his home with an actual ATM in his kitchen. According to TMZ, he paid $3,500 for installing it. It charged a $4.50 transaction fee and was refilled with $20,000 a few times a year. Jarrett Jack, over 1,500 pairs of sneakers. Jarrett Jack was never what you call an NBA star. He was a legitimate starter during just one season, even though he's been in the league for 13 years. He's making up for it during his 14th season, now as a member of the surprisingly good New York Knicks. He never signed large contracts, at least by NBA standards, but he apparently earned enough to buy 1,500 pairs of sneakers. Some of them are really rare, and most he has never even worn. Why is this purchase dumb? Apart from the fact that he's never going to wear some of these shoes, and it may be treated as an investment, it would be validated if Jack would be making making superstar money. He should be smarter about spending it though. He's nearing retirement and you can bet that once that NBA money is gone, some of these shoes will be as well. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos out on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.